saw one calling the dog, David. I thought to be very sure it was a dog. He was. Hello, the Jesse Pepper and Pays. Hello, the Jesse Sugar Sugar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jesse, as always. Jesse the Pepper and Pay. I am here to, to share with you some of the cultural shock that I had as a first timer in Australia. I am a Nigerian by birth. Have lived in Saudi Arabia. I've equally visited Bahrain, then Egypt, and uh, Qatar. I'm not going to say I've been there. It was just a, a transit. I just stopped there briefly while we we're waiting to board the next flight going to our destination or my destination. So these are the countries I've been to, and from my perspective of what I've seen from my country and while I was in Saudi Arabia, the system here is quite different. I will begin this video by saying thank you to the Australian government, even when they may not get to watch this video. And this is because of the fact that the system is working. See, if you go to a country that the system is working, trust me, you're going to enjoy it. The system is working. Just know what you should do, where, where to do them, how to do them, and you are good to go. Nobody is going to extort money from you for any reason. Like, nobody is going to be asking you to pay one AUD extra if it is their job to do that. Guys, I am so impressed, and this is one cultural shock I have gotten. Time management here is superb. Like, guys, I don't know how to explain this so you understand, but the system is working 100% working another thing i'm going to say that surprised me so much is the fact that the people here are very friendly when i came here i was lost on how to go to the school on how to go to other places i needed to go to and i didn't know what to do i had a google map but i needed to know where to go to the tram because the map will tell you go to this street or at this bus stop you are going to get bus 50 bus 70 to this place going to this place so i was lost i needed someone to put me through coupled with the fact that i came here not knowing anyone i, I booked an airbnb for the first couple of days i spent here so it wasn't so easy to get um, my way around I had to ask, I had to stop people on the way to ask them, please, how do I get to this place? This is where I'm going to. And believe me when I say that the people were very polite and friendly. Like the first day I came, I haven't gotten my um, mobile number, so I couldn't subscribe for internet. I will stop somebody, this is the location I'm going to, what, where will I get to tram? And the person will quickly google it and tell me, okay, this is the direction, this is how you should go about it. And when you get to the, that destination or at a particular place, ask someone else, they will be willing to help and guide you. And that was equally true. Everyone I walked up to had a way to help me out to get to where I'm going or to um, answer my, some of my confusing questions. Father was so friendly. <laughs> it's the, uh, I don't know what to say. Very official with their duties and very professional as well. When I went to some places like the bank, um, the post office and the police, um, when I went to make some inquiries, these people were so polite. They gave me all the attention I needed. They can guide me to do whatever I wanted to do at that point. So I'm going to say it was another cultural shock for me when i saw that huh, these people are really really human and they are willing to help you there was a day i lost my way and somebody had to leave where she was going to and walk me very close to my house and then she turned back this is somebody i don't know we are we are not friends obviously and she was willing to take me to the point where she knew i would find my way to where i was going to so guys it was a shock a shocker for me another cultural shock i had here is the traffic guys when i came i noticed that every 100 to 200 meters has a traffic light the traffic light the red green and yellow isn't just what is there they also have um, a traffic signal indicating that it is time for those who are walking by leg should walk and it has their own separate lane so when you come you wait you look at it the moment it indicates for those walking to move every car will stop. The bicycle also have their own signal that tells them when to go, when to stop and all that. And this is something that I didn't see while living in Nigeria, neither did I see while in Saudi Arabia. So it's another cultural shock for me. The next point I'm going to be leaving is the transport system. Guys, that here work finish. <laughs> 
transport system is superb. I'm going to be leaving some clips about yeah, 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 about it here. Yeah? Like the first transport I. was a tramp t-r-a-m hmm. when they said tramp i was like tramp <laughs> i quickly had to google what tramp is so that i'm not going to fall my hand and that was when i knew that it is the the public transport that has been used here like in nigeria but public transport is known as Danfo in lagos in worry in other big um commercial cities when i was in saudi arabia most of the times what we use is over boats Tags you really. In fact, I ne I've never bought a bus going anyway. I know there are boxes, but it goes to major cities, like from one um, town to the other. Not as if there are buses that goes within the city. The metro boxes where every in fact there is a metro bus going at every street. Not every street, the major streets here or the major roads. I don't know how to say this. But transportation is very accessible. When I mean very accessible very very accessible i only got to use uber twice when i came in and then I, when i found an apartment and i was moving into my apartment that was the two times i booked um uber but for the rest of the time i either go with tramp or i go with the train it has been a beautiful experience and one beautiful thing about this is i noticed that women too here drive the metro buses it's even longer than luxurious boxes and you see women uh, like doing the thing i was so encouraged that um, women can equally do everything women has the power and the right to do whatever the men are doing here so for me it is a plus so guys another um cultural shock i saw here was these people like dog no kind of dog that have not seen those who are my teacher taught and didn't teach me in school i have seen that there's no kind of design and shape and color of dogs you want to see that you're not going to see them here i saw one calling the dog david i thought to be very sure it was a dog he was referring to david be nice i saw the other one calling steve please you're on the road I folded my hands and I was looking at them. If you see these dogs, you will know that these dogs, they eat better food. Hey. Then they eat correct food. Not that kind of dog you see in Nigeria that is always looking for bone to chew. And if it doesn't see bone, it's going to eat the woman flesh. It's going to bite you because it's hungry. It's hungry. They are fleshy. They are hairy. They are good looking. Like they are clean. My dear, they even have names human names the dogs here yeah, fine and i'm just wondering how much these people are investing to own a dog because i know it's going to be very expensive when i went to the mall i saw that a section of the mall had dog food hey i said these people don't finish work like now here they finish work i saw that and i said ha the dogs are nice if you love dog trust me when you come to australia you want to get one me i don't like dogs i've never liked dogs because i've been bitten by dogs one or twice so for that reason anything that has to do with dog <laughs> i am not interested but when i saw that the big dogs here are not even annoying they don't even chase you they just go their way and the owner of the dogs always have some i don't know what they call it something on their neck they hold it so you can't see a dog just coming to you to fight you or coming to harax you know their dogs are I think they are trained and well-mannered as well because they mind their business. That is the kind of dogs I've seen. And being almost Niger, I say, ha, these people like dogs. Saudi Arabia like cats. Saudis like cats a lot. A lot. But here, yeah, for them, it is the dog. For Nigeria, I don't know what we like. Please just tell me in the comment section. Another cultural shock here is their shops that sells just one. 
if you go into the shop you'll see assorted kind of wines people just come there to take wine they call it wine bar i say business they dislike you i'm telling you the truth so if you want to take wine go to any of the wine bar and then help yourself order for it you pay your money and you give yourself a nice treat this was a cultural shop because I've not seen that kind of business. You can only see it at the bar or in the hotel, but not as a business on its own outside the hotel and uh, those big restaurants. Okay, so that is why this is a shock for me. Another shock I had was the school where I enrolled. The school came to pick me, they sent a driver or an Uber man to come to the airport to pick me. Hey! I felt like, ah, I felt like the president's wife. I felt like Tinubu's wife. <laughs> that is how I felt. Like, I was so overwhelmed with that service because which school in Nigeria will come and pick you with Okada? Which school? Just tell me. You find your way in, find your way out. That is what happens in Nigeria. They were the even the one that suggested if I need um, a pickup ride. And I said, of course, with all pleasure. <laughs> And of course, they delivered. The, the Uber man was nice. The first picture I took here was the Uber man that took me that picture. Oh, when I arrived at Melbourne, that is it. And guys, uh, these are the ones I remember. I'm going to be leaving others subsequently in this video because I don't want this video to get too lengthy and then annoying and then you will watch it. <laughs> so that is it. So if there's any other content you want to know about Australia, guys, I am willing to share. Free, free of charge. Thank you so much. Till I come your waste of bless. Be good. And remember that every positive dream of yours is valid. Bye.